Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are once again together. All right, so we're looking at question eight today of uh, the Gauteng prelim, uh, just with the, um, you know, trying to uh, diagnose how we actually did on that paper, uh, but also, you know, just to help uh, revise as well as uh, prepare for the final exam. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please just make sure that you do the right thing. Again, we're part of the family. All right, and uh, please just invite more people. Tell them, hey, we are learning great things over here, right? And um, yeah, uh, for those of you who need assistance with mathematics or physical science, please make sure that you can send us an email. That is at info at mlungisingosi.co.za. That's our email address. Now let's get into this question over here, right? So we're looking at Ohm's law, uh, electric circuits. So we've got a battery with an EMF of 8 volts, okay, and an internal resistance of uh, uh, R, so we don't know the internal resistance, that's as shown there. So they say if switch 1 is closed, so that switch is closed, it means that there's current in our external circuit, they say the voltage is 6.86 volts, so uh, we know that the voltmeter reading over there, now, this would be the reading not of the EMF, but of the external voltage. So it would be the voltage uh, across our, uh, um, yeah, across all our resistors uh, in the circuit. Uh, please remember, if, if you have not, or if you find whatever I say confusing, it means that you haven't watched our series on electric circuits, right? Please go there, and I promise you, I tried to stagger the lessons in such a way that you can understand them quite easily. Okay, just watch that one entire series and it will really, really help you. Okay, so uh, they said explain the meaning of the EMF uh, of 8 volts. So remember that the EMF is the total uh, uh, energy per unit charge, uh, right, across the terminals of the battery or inside a battery. Okay, uh, so they said in 8.2, calculate the internal resistance of the battery. Now let's have a look what, what actually do we have, all right? They've given us the emitter reading. They've given us the external voltage, all right? Uh, but they've also given us the, the, the EMF of the cell. So uh, when I look at that, I'm just simply going to say, well, uh, let's use the relationship. We know that EMF, okay, E is equal to V external, okay, plus V internal, all right? Um, remember, the voltage that's lost inside the battery there plus the voltage inside or, or uh, you know, in the external of the circuit would give us the EMF, isn't it? So, um, V external, I know that's 6.86, okay? But what would be my internal uh, voltage? Right, so which current passes across our internal resistance, rather? Uh, our internal resistance, the total current passes across there. Right, if you find, again, this confusing, it means you haven't watched our, uh, you know, our, our, our you know, series on, on circuits. So please just do that for yourself, right? So this is 8, this is 6.86. I know that my I total is 2, and then I can get my um, um, V... I can get my 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 resistance there. So uh, or alternatively, what you could have done is just simply said, okay, I'll calculate V internal. So which would be the difference between the two? So that would be eight minus six point eight six. Okay. Uh, so uh, that would give us two. Uh, sorry, one point one four. Okay, and uh, so it means that the difference is one point one four. And of course, our current is 2, and we're looking for R. We can divide both sides there by 2, and we would get the internal resistance. Okay. Right, so I'm dividing that by 2. Uh, I get a, an internal resistance of 0 0.57 ohms. Okay, so that's what I got there. Right, okay, let's continue. Uh, then they say calculate the value of the unknown resistor R1. Okay, so we want to find out what is that unknown resistor there. And what I'm just simply going to do is I'm going to use the fact that I know the external voltage 
uh, which was 6.86 but i also know um yeah i i also know the uh, in fact you know what nah man let's let's use let's use this equation uh, you know, there's so many ways to skin a cat when it comes to uh, electric circuits. So let's say E is equals to I into R plus small r. Okay, so we know our EMF value is 8. We know, uh, remember which current we use here. It's the total current, so that's 2. Uh, which resistance is this going to be? This is the external resistance. Okay, so it means it's all of your resistors in your circuit combined right uh, so uh, plus we just found out that the internal resistance there is 0 0.57 okay so all we need to do uh, just uh, work out that value there so i'm going to divide both sides by two okay so that cancels that so eight divided by f uh, two is four okay and subtract that 0 0.57 Okay, so that will give us, uh, uh, so that's 4 minus 0 0.57, uh, that will give us 3.43. So R would be 3.43 ohms. Uh, now, if you notice there, your, your internal resistance, or rather your external resistance, is composed of this one resistor here, plus the combination of those two in parallel, right? So um, this is R external over here. So I know that my R parallel, so R external would be R parallel plus that one resistor there, uh, the two ohm resistor. So I want to find out what R parallel is because if I can get the effective resistance in parallel, then I can get R1, right? So I know that my R external is 3.43 okay i'm looking for r parallel but the other resistor is two ohms so it means that my parallel my effective parallel resistance would be 1.43 ohms okay right i hope that you're still with me okay so what i'm then going to do is let me just uh, quickly find that r parallel uh, uh, sorry that r1 value uh you can go and use r1 over uh, one over r1 uh, you know that 1 over R parallel is equals to 1 over R1 uh, plus 1 over R2, right? Um, so I'm just going to quickly take a shortcut there, okay? I know that uh, R parallel, okay, let me, uh, let, let me just, uh, you know, just use uh, R parallel is always the product because I've got two resistors, right? Divided by the sum. So that's R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, okay? I already know what R parallel is, okay? Uh, my R parallel value, okay, so I'm going to just continue over this side. My R parallel value is 1.43, okay? And I know I've got R1 there. So this is uh, R1 multiplied by 2, Okay, that uh, resistor there, divided by R1 plus 2. Okay, right. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to continue over this side. So, remember, I've got 2 R1 uh, divided by R1 plus 2. Okay, which is equal to... So, I've got 2 R1, um, uh, which is that over there. Okay. So I've got 2R1, um, which is equal to 1.43 into R1 plus 2. Hey, uh, this thing uh, looks complicated. Actually, it would have been much easier to use this one. Um, so all I just simply do, just work out the value of R1. Okay, uh, some gymnastics mathematically. So this would be 2R1 which is 1.43 R1 uh, plus, that's 2.86, uh, so that's 1.43 times 2. And then uh, you can see already, ladies and gents, that uh, all that's left for us to do is just do those gymnastics mathematically. If I take this to the other side, uh, what do I have? I've got uh, 2 minus 1.43, so this will be 0. 
uh, 5, 7 times R1, which is equals to 2.86. If I divide 2.86 divided by 0 0.57, okay, uh, please just keep me, um, uh, keep a watchful eye on me, okay. Uh, some of you guys say, hey, you've made a mistake. <laughs> so this is 5.02 ohms. Uh, that's rounded off. I get a value of uh, 5.02 ohms. Okay, so that is the value of our R1. Okay, and let's continue to, let's continue with the next question. Okay, so they say define the term power. All right, so remember that power is the rate at which work is done okay uh it's the rate at which uh, work is done and in this case they say now switch two is opened okay so uh what will uh, what effect will the power dissipated on r1 um have so write down only increase decrease or remain the same so if we open switch s2 okay and uh, now we know that instead of that current branching there, uh, all of the current would now go through R1, okay? Uh, so definitely uh, we should have an, an, an increase there, uh, an increase in the, in the amount of power that is dissipated, right? And they say explain your uh, answer uh, to question 8.5.1, okay? So in this case, uh, we said... Uh, first of all, it would increase, okay, um, so it would increase, all right, so uh, 8.5.2, we just need to uh, explain why we say that current or that power would increase, so remember that when we open switch S2, okay, so the moment we open that switch there, um, uh, um, we know that the total current, okay, total current will actually uh, increase. Now, of course, the, the moment that you remove uh, resistors in parallel, you know, uh, the total current would kind of decrease. But remember, in this case, we had a branch of the, uh, we, we had a portion of the total current that would be uh, moving there, right? Uh, so in this case, the current that moves across R1 um, would increase. Let me rather say the current uh, the current on R1 would increase I1 uh, R1 sorry uh, would increase okay but if we increase the current there but we know that power okay is equals to I squared multiplied by R isn't it okay so notice now what we're simply saying is that resistance remains constant. Resistance, okay, is constant, okay. Uh, remember that the resistance R1 did not change, right? Um, it would still be the same value, but if the current has increased, therefore power will increase. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, of course, you're going to write this in a more concise manner. Okay. Um, uh, more elaborate. Okay. So uh, just giving you an idea on how to tackle that question. Okay. So that's circuits and you've got yourself your full marks. Um, right. And I'm sure that you are getting the, you know, the hang of this. I'm sure many of you are going to get great results, especially most of you who've been following this channel. All right, so that's it in terms of circuits. I'll see you again next time, ladies and gents. Don't forget to tell others. Don't forget to subscribe. See you. Shop, shop.